over the trees and heads toward the green, and with the lofted club, he was unable to reach the green, but what an out by Frank Beard. He's only about 10 yards short of the putting surface and about 75 or 80 feet from the pin. Truly a great shot by Frank Beard. Julius Boris with a 7-iron second shot. Starts it to the left side of the green. It's going to be strong. It carries on the down slope just over the gallery's head. Trickles down the embankment. And Boris is long and strong to the left side. Here's Frank Beard uh, after a great recovery out of the trees on the left side of the fairway, chipping up with an 8-iron. Cup is down in the valley, and that's going to be short. It's hanging up on the upslope, and Frank left himself a long putt here for his par. Bogeyed the last hole. Julius Boris with his uh, wedge up. It's going to be very strong. It lands uh, on the downslope, rolling and rolling and way past. And Julius is outside of Frank Beard. You hear the noise of the jet aircraft passing over here. Has plays fourth shot here on the par for tenth hole. It's Julius with about a 22 foot nice stroke. <clears throat> it died off to the right and uh, slightly short. And Boris picked up his first bogey of the day to go back even par. Frank Beard has about an 18 footer for his par downhill. That looks good. Yeah. Oh, boy, how this hole changed right there. Through the 10th hole with that fine four by Frank Beard, this match is all even again. Both players at even par on Shell's wonderful world of golf. On the par three, 215-yard 11th hole, both Beard and Boris parred the hole, and there was no change in the match. Then on the par five, 560-yard 12th hole, Frank Beard drove down the center of the fairway about 275 yards off the tee. Boris's tee shot was about 25 yards short of Beard's, but he too is in a good position in the fairway. Using a three-wood, Julius was first to play his second shot. Jay's second shot split the fairway, and he finished just short of the trap, scoring the green. Frank selected a two iron, and he hit a terrific shot, which almost made the bunker guarding the left-hand side of the green. Two tremendous second shots here by Boris and Beard. Jay was now going with a wedge for his third shot here on the 12th hole. Lost it up with a wedge right on the downslope to the right of the green, and does not take the bite. The downslope of the green took the uh, spin off the ball, and it overspun and ran past the hole about 15 feet. Frank Beard, although close to the green, has the tougher of the two shots. Open stance, picks the club up on the outside, throws it at the flag, it's going to land strong, runs up toward Boris's ball, and there's only a foot or so uh, separating the two balls. Frank Beard slightly inside. Both players then two-putted for their pars, and the match remained tied at even par. On the par four, 413-yard 13th hole, Frank Beard tried to cut the corner of the dog leg to the right. However, he hit a tall tree and his ball landed in a winding creek about 200 yards from the tee. Boris, staying away from the creek, drove down the center of the fairway about 230 yards. Frank Beard's tee shot caught the lateral hazard on the right side. He's now dropping the ball over his shoulder, one stroke penalty. Frank is still uh, partly stymied after the drop, and he's going to have to cut this ball around the trees. He's not setting too well after that drop and may not get the spin on the ball that uh, he would like. You can see him setting up on the left side of the green, hoping that he can put the spin on the ball, fading it or slicing it out of this rut. Here's Frank with a five iron. Two clubs linked, not near the hole. Oh, boy, he's close to those trees. He's going to land short of the green and got a good break. Landed short of the green and took a big hop up on the very front part of the green. Frank is on in three. Here's Julius Boris with about a half six iron for his second shot. And uh, Julius uh, starts it right at the flag. It's going to be a good one. It's going to land just in front of the pin, runs up toward the hole.